The conceptual framework. We've spoken about the fact that the financial information has to have certain qualitative characteristics. And again, keep in mind that when we talk about this, I'm asking what is it that my financial statements need to have, contain, in order for them to be useful. I need to make sure that the users that are going to be making decisions on these things find these financial statements useful. The conceptual framework includes a couple of requirements and it says, one, make sure your information is, is relevant. Make sure it's appropriate for the users to base their decisions on. Make sure that this is what they need. So if you were going to the bank and you were saying, please, can you give me a study loan? And they said, okay, tell me what we need to know. And you say, well, I believe I'm a very nice person and I've got a great sense of humor and I have about five rand in my pocket and I have a lot of friends and I've got a fantastic Facebook profile and everybody loves me. What information in all of that stuff is relevant? It may all be true and it may all be great, but the only piece of information that the bank finds relevant within all that stuff you told them is the fact that you've got five grand in their pocket because that's the only information that is useful for them to base their decision on. The fact that you've got a whole bunch of friends on Facebook means nothing to them. They don't care. So we've got to be very careful about understanding who our users are and what they need in order to make sure that our information is relevant for their purposes. Faithful representation, it means it should represent what really went on. Make sure that the information is accurate, that you're not lying, that you didn't leave things off, that you didn't manipulate it. When the bank is standing in front of you and saying, do you think you can pay the loan back? Obviously, we want to say, yes, 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 we're fine. Look at all the wonderful. The reality is, are you fine? Make sure that the information that you represent is true, not because you want it to be true, but because it is actually true. So our two main fundamental qualitative characteristics it must be relevant and it must be faithfully represented. Further qualitative characteristics, comparability. Make sure that you can compare the information over time within industries, similar businesses. Different entities should disclose similar transactions in the same way. The idea of comparability, comparability is very important because we can identify trends over time. If you say to me, uh, I earn 10,000 Rand a month. I don't necessarily know what that means to you and how you feel about it unless you say to me, well, last year I was also earning 10,000 Rand a month and the year before I was earning 10,000 Rand a month as well. That says to me for the last three, four years, your income has remained the same. Does that say anything to me? Well, it does, doesn't it? Versus if you said to me, you're earning 10,000 Rand a month now, last year you were earning 2,000 Rand a month. All of a sudden, I feel very differently about the 10,000 Rand a month, right? Because if you were earning 2,000 Rand a month last year, what on earth happened in the meanwhile to make this massive jump? So the information by itself doesn't necessarily give a picture. When you compare it to what happened last year or what's happening in the industry, then you start to feel, wait a minute, this is, this is quite interesting. If you say to me, well, if I earn 10,000 Rand a month, and I say, oh, great, what are you doing? You say, I'm waitressing. I go, wait a minute. I know a couple of waitresses and they only earn 2,000 rand a month. How on earth is that possible? It gives me a slightly different feeling about your information because I'm comparing it to other people who are doing the same thing, to what you were doing last year, and I'm identifying how I feel about this piece of information based on previous, based on time, versus other people who are doing the same thing. It is really important that our financial information is comparable. You want to compare apples with apples to see what you're looking at. Verifiability, if someone else comes along and creates the same information, they should come up with the same thing. It needs to be specific, it needs to be concise, your information needs to be correct, it needs to be verifiable. You don't just suck it out your thumb, it's got to come from somewhere. So comparability, verifiability, very important, and it needs to be on time. Timeliness is absolutely vital. You know this, when you're looking for your results from your NISA, you realize that you cannot register for the next semester until you've got the results from the last semester. And sometimes you feel that's frustrating. It's got to come on time. You can't get your results from your NISA after you've registered for the next semester. That doesn't help. So certain information is only valuable when it comes on time because you need to have that information so that you can make the decision for the next step. And understandability, it should be drawn up in such a way that average users can get value from it, that they understand it. A lot of companies and a lot of people, they kind of hide what's going on in all the terminology and the long words and the complicated stuff, and they make you, they intimidate you with all the information. How many times have you read stuff and you've read notes and reports and information, maybe even study information, and you, you're intimidated by the information, it doesn't make sense to you, you can't read it. It means that you can't understand, it's not understandable for the average user. 
It also, however, doesn't mean that something should be left off just because it's difficult. I can't say, well, look, you're not going to understand it, so I'm just going to leave it out. You can't imagine that we would do that. You can't just say to someone, well, I know you're not going to understand it, so I'm just... I'm just not going to deal with it at all. So in terms of your financial information, what we're asking ourselves is, what is our conceptual framework? What are the qualitative characteristics that our financial information needs to have in order for it to be useful to our users? It needs to be relevant. It needs to be faithfully represented. It needs to be comparable, it needs to be verifiable, it needs to be timely, and it needs to be understandable. Make sure you know these. More importantly, make sure you understand why they would be important for your financial information.